One of the things that Muslims say often, and I, you mentioned it, but you didn't get in depth into it, is that it's totally illogical that God could be three in one, the Trinity. And, and certainly you could probably empathize with why somebody who may never have read the New Testament would think, how can God be three? So could you explain very simply, how is it possible for God to not be one but three? How am I going to do that simply? And how am I going to do it in a two-minute sound bite? It's kind of an important point. I think it's very, it's, it, it, it is something that we cannot explain in two minutes. What we have to do is we have to go and see what God calls himself and what he, he defines as himself. It is not three gods in one, as many Muslims like to claim. I don't know any Christian here tonight that believes that there are three separate gods. There are three persons in the Godhead, yes, and that's not hard to find. Even Islam has that same problem. They've also got a trinity, which they don't like to talk about. They've got the trinity of Allah and his word, his Kalimatu, that is an eternal tablet that sits in heaven and has always eternally been there in Surah 8522. Then they've also got the Ru, the spirit of God, that is as close to your juggler vein. Now try to defend that one. I don't know how I would defend that one. I would rather defend this trinity we do have because we have a God who not only is, has been there eternally, but also his word that has been there eternally. The word that does come down, we know him as Jesus Christ uh, 2,000 years ago, but it's that same second person of the trinity that came in the Garden of Eden. It's that same second person of the Trinity that also visited Abraham and Jacob and wrestled with Jacob. These are the theophanies that we talk about. That's not hard for me to understand. Now, the Spirit of God is quite simple. We understand the Spirit of God because it is that paraclete that Jesus then left and said would come down and be the counselor that, we are then, that is going to infuse and be in us. We cannot see him, though we know him, and that he will teach us all things about Jesus Christ, not Muhammad, as they claim that Spirit is. Okay. That's how I would explain it. But I'd like to know how Shabir would defend his trinity. Although I think, am I correct in saying, have we done 30 minutes already? Is it time to go to intermission? I think somebody just told me in my ear. But it doesn't look like 30 minutes to me. So I'm going to go on to If you allow me quickly on this question, Peggy, if you don't mind. Yeah, and then I, I want time for one more. If we only have one question left, mm -hmm. well, I have a specific question. But please. Well, Jay wanted my response on what he said to be a Muslim trinity. I find that very laughable. And it's actually a desperate uh, attempt on Jay to try to say, OK, I can't explain my trinity. But wait a minute, you guys have one too. And what he's saying is that we believe in Allah. And we believe that Allah has a book which is eternal. And we believe that there is a, you know, a spirit, which is actually quite false, because what the Quran actually says is that uh, uh, God is closer to human beings than his jugular vein. It doesn't say there's another spirit that is closer to you than your jugular vein. So we're talking about the one God who has a book. Now he misunderstands the use of the word eternal because eternal can mean you know, living forever, but it can also mean forever in the past. But that's not what we mean by the book being eternal. God created the book. He created the pen and had the book written. But the words of God are eternal because this is his, uh, his knowledge and it always has to be eternal and, and uh, remaining with God. So we don't have a trinity to explain. And you're right, the trinity is uh, impossible to explain. You, you can believe it, but you cannot uh, explain it. I mean, you can think of Jesus, you can think of his Father, you can think of the Holy Spirit coming down as a dove, but you cannot think of one thing that's all three together. It, it's just impossible. Welcome back, friends. I hope you enjoy the video till the last minute. Uh, you know, the trinity. What is trinity? Trinity means that God has three shapes. One is the God, the second is the Holy Spirit and the third is the Jesus. So the Christian believe that there is Trinity. And what Trinity actually is in the Holy Quran, Almighty Allah says, Laqad kafar qalu inna allaha thalisu salasa. And in another words of the Holy Quran, Almighty Allah says, Wala taqulu salasa. Do not say three or do not say about Trinity. There is no Trinity have been happening. Now what the trinity is, these Christians believe that there are totally three gods. One is the Christian, one is the God, the second is the Holy Spirit, and the third one is Jesus, the Son of God. Now what actually the Christians say in this, video, in this video, the Christians said that it's not three different people, it's three person in one God. Now how it's possible that there are uh, three person in one God? We Muslim believe that there is only one God, but Christian they believe on the Trinity. Now Almighty Allah clearly mentioned in the Holy Quran, Law kana fihi ma alihatun illa Allahu lafasadata. Almighty Allah says that if there is another God except Almighty Allah, then the whole universe system it will be collapse, it will be destroyed within seconds. But hence 
the complete universe in its original shape there is no collapsion and there is no destruction that's why it's proof that there is only one god now logically this answer is 100 percent correct because if there is uh, two gods or three gods or more than one gods then there will be a collapsion and there will be destruction why because one god if he will be warned that i want rain in the peshawar now the second god he will be said that no i did not want rain peshawar so in this way there will be a great differences between gods and there will be a great destruction among the universe and each universe will be completely destroyed within seconds so the muslim says muslim represents there is no trinity but the christian represent that there is a trinity and we muslim believe that there is no god but only almighty allah i hope you enjoy the video if you like the video subscribe the channel and share it with your friends